Hi guys, so I'm back with another uh, project and this one is going to be one of four videos I'm going to be uploading. I finished four journals and they're all uh, spring journals, spring summer uh, journals. Uh, this one is going to be my Seneca Pond Design Team project. I'm going to be showing you some of the some new uh, little kits that she has available in case you haven't seen them. So uh, let's get started. Uh, first of all, I hope you guys had a great Easter and um, I wanted to say uh, welcome to all of my new subscribers. I know that I'm getting uh, more and more subscribers so I really appreciate that. Thank you and welcome. And, uh, and to all my uh, regular subscribers, thank you for sticking with me and uh, I appreciate you all. So let's get right into this one. So uh, I've used the Butterfly Secrets from Seneca Pond Crafts on Etsy. Now I have uh, message Eileen because I don't see this I don't see this kit on her uh, Etsy anymore. I wanted to use this kit. I've had it for a while but I wanted to use it because um, I love this kit and uh, I love butterflies. So um, I wanted to make a butterfly journal. So uh, I asked her if um, if it's discontinued, so I'm waiting to hear back from her. As soon as I hear back from her, I will link, you know, if it's discontinued, obviously I won't be linking the, you know, the direct link onto the kit, but if it is available, then I will. So this is a 6x9 journal. It is a manila fold, not a manila folder, a manila envelope that I've sandwiched with uh, felt like so it has felt here and felt here sandwiching a manila folder so it's nice and puffy and then I've covered that with fabric and then I've stitched all around it so it's, it's nice and puffy and then I've used um, some silver uh, corners metal corners for the front I've uh, triple thicked the butterflies here and then I have this beautiful butterfly applique and I have a dangle from it hanging with a bow pin. And I have these bow pins available in my shop. It's a mix uh, pack of 20 and it has uh, silver, black, gold and antique bronze in the pack. So those are available. And then at the bottom here, I have another applique, and this one is like an off-white. And then this is the spine, and it's like a lavender and pink and lavender, pink and lavender. And under that is this beautiful lace that I've wrapped around the spine, so it's very girly. And then the back looks like this. And then, of course, it's got all the yummies on the side, and it closes with seam binding. So, let's get right into it. I didn't want to put anything in the front cover because I just, I like the way it feels and the way it looks. So, here you have a pocket that I've stitched, and it doesn't have anything in it, but I might just put a fern letter in there. So before it ships out to whoever purchases it. And then you have this beautiful trim that I've sprinkled throughout the edges of the pages. This here is a uh, beautiful background paper from Seneca Pan. And then this, this is um, one of her newest kits, uh, you know, on background pages. And it's in the kit, you get different colors. And I love it. It just screams spring. It screams summer. And I will have the links to all of her kits in the description box below. But this one is called uh, Butterfly Garden Cottage Chic. And it, I love it. 
so that is that one then here this is from the butterfly secrets kit which is the kit that I'm using and so is this one as well this tag and I've backed it um, backed it on to this cream cardstock that I stitched around and I put some eyelash trim back there and then this is her um, her ledger tags vintage ledger tags I love that and I've backed that onto uh, coffee dyed paper love that some Edith Holden this here is again um, one of her newest kits and I blow I I enlarged this one I blew it up but I think you get five or six on on the sheet and it comes in different colors and I just backed it on to coffee dyed paper and put some fibers on the top and this kit is called uh, the painted cottage chic painted butterfly tags beautiful so that is new and then here you have a little pocket with a tag in there for extra journaling. And this here, uh, I'm obsessed with mason jars. And what I've done is this is part of this kit of mason jars. It's called um, Spring Awakening. And it is... Um, spring awakening mason jar kit and I just uh, cut it I printed out twice and paper pieced it and mounted it on to make it double you know like uh, three-dimensional three or two-dimensional and fussy cut the bird out and then put some uh, German gla glass glitter and just because I wanted dimension onto the mason jar and glossy accented in certain spots and I love the way it turned out I hope you guys can see that good I love it and this is another one of her tags and on this one I just added a little charm at the bottom that goes there and this is another one in a different color of her background paper this is a glassing bag and I just added that quote there from this is another kit that I just had left over this is from her seed packets and I can't remember the name of the seed packets but I will be sure to put it in the description box below and I just added and you get a pa uh, four in a sheet and I just added a little card for journaling and you get four and you know different styles and different uh, flowers flower names and I just attached that there real pretty this here is another one of her mason jars and I think this one is called hmm I think it's the vintage garden no not the vintage garden uh, it might be spring awakening still this one with the bike I'll be sure to link all of the the mason jars that I've used but this one opens up and you have uh, lines for journaling and a little tag in there for a secret and it's magnetized and I just added some trim and a little bow 
glossy accented the bike. You can see that. And then you have a doily and a little quote that says, After women, flowers are the most divine creations. And you have a poem here, talks about the wind, and another doily. And then you have another beautiful uh, background paper. And then this is another pocket. Tracing paper. And then I made a little library card pocket here that I've just added some lace and another beautiful baby pink butterfly here. And this is one of her library cards. And this is new. This is um, her vintage ephemera library cards. And it, you get a nice selection of those as well. If I can get it in there. I always have a hard time putting these in. I don't know why. There we go. And then here you have more sheets for journaling. I have a uh, mulberry, mulberry um, paper ribbon with a vintage button that Aaliyah gave me. Thank you, Aaliyah. And music sheet. Coffee dyed paper. And another little um, mulberry uh, ribbon down here with a vintage button and then have one of uh, Doily and I think this is the one that Katie Lynn creation Sent me on a happy mail. Thank you Katie Lynn. If you guys haven't checked out her channel, I'll be sure to link um, Her YouTube channel below uh, she's making junk journals and she just started her YouTube channel, so if you want to stop by and show her some support, that would be great. This is another one of uh, Seneca Pond's uh, mason jars, and this one is called Strawberry Fields, I believe, and I love it. And all I did was glossy accented uh, strawberries and the lid, and added a little vintage button there, and is on cream cardstock and I love it and this is a flip for more journaling and here's more of that beautiful background paper this is a little card and this is another one of those mason jars with another button and I just glossy accent it like the pie. It looks like the pie filling in there. I love it. And that goes tucked in there. Another pocket and another one of these uh, ledger tags. Beautiful. And another tag with some fibers. And this talks about the daffodils. It's a poem. And the young dandelion. And more of that beautiful paper. And this is another seed packet. And this one is with the calla lily. Love is the flower you got to let. Love is the flower you've got to let grow. And here is another mason jar with a flower, and I put some vine trim there and glossy accented the bike. And this is Seneca Pond too. And it has another little tag in here with more journaling spots in there and it's magnetized
and this is the middle of the signature and I just made an envelope with that beautiful background paper and this is another pocket be honest be nice be a flower not a weed <laughs> And this is a crafty Irina pocket and I just ran some uh, trims here in lace and used um, her ledger uh, tags come with these ledger cut aparts and I just used them to create these tags to go into those pockets and then I have a little tiny tag in here that go in there and I no, I didn't leave that slide open. And then it says, every time I climb a tree, it's another poem. And then it talks here, there's another poem that says, the tree. And here are more tags. Beautiful. A lot of stitching. And here is a belly band with another mason jar. I've glossy accented the window frame and the little vine leaves and um, the lid, the strawberry, and you can journal in the back. And here is another one. And here there's some glass glitter there. And that goes tucked in there. That's a flip down. More music sheet. And here is another one that I just made that 3D because I cut apart and added some uh, German glass glitter on certain spots. And here is another one of those beautiful tags. This is just a sheet that I just put in there for extra journaling. Tracing paper. Another doily. On May morning, another poem. This is another pocket. Plastic bag. Two tags it says bloom and live in this moment. More trim. Another tag. And this beautiful, and I put some fibers and a little bow, and again. I did that um, 3D dimensional um, uh, thing with the mason jar. And we get to the back of it. And more lace. And then I found this in um, this book plate in the Graphics Fairy. And I just added that there. So you can put your name here. It says Ex Libris. And that is the back of it. And this is going to be on my Etsy. I hope you like it, guys. And yeah, it was a lot of fun to make. And I will be coming back with the other three journals. All right, guys. Thanks. Talk to you in the next video. Bye.